Hey guys, Mark Singen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so today we are jumping into the Cell Max event to test out the new Dokkan Fest uh, God Goku. Um, he should be very, very good for this event, right? Now those of you guys who watched the uh, Metal Cooler Core run that I put up yesterday, um, with Goku having a 60% chance to dodge, as long as you get his orbs, uh, we had him dodging back-to-back -back Metal Cooler Core Supers in that run. So, if he puts up a performance like that in this run, then obviously he can be very, very good, right? Be very, very useful. Um, I think I'm going to use this first turn here, since there's, what, five attacks in slot one? I would do this, right, as the optimal way to play the rotation, but... I'm going to do this so that we can actually get a bunch of these buffs for the STR Carnival Goku. And then we can grab our six orbs for you. And then I'll just get this for you. Chances are, because obviously the STR phase, not exactly the hardest, it doesn't have the craziest amount of HP. Depending on the additionals that we get from the God Goku, there is the potential that we actually just <laughs> kill him in one turn, I'm not sure. But the tech God Goku on the end, him having no links active... Um, not really going to make any difference, right? He's going to do less damage, but he's not going to be able to take damage in this first phase. So, 8 point something was that. 8.2 on the first turn. Pretty good. No attack support, remember, from uh, the STR Carnival Goku. And uh, I think he gets, what, 3 links? Because they have the same link set as the tech Carnival Goku who we've run together in uh, previous videos. So I'm pretty sure it's three links. So this isn't anywhere close to like, the best rotation for God Goku. But once you get dupes in him, get him link leveled and stuff like that, he just is looking so crazy. It's funny to think, like I, I've said before, I've always been a fan of Margin Vegeta. I feel like he was underrated last year, but he definitely didn't have the same impact as this God Goku. Like he didn't come out and immediately people were at, like literally calling him the best unit, well, the best TUR in the game and like a top, you know, 5 or top 10 overall unit in the game. Um, it's pretty crazy, right? He's definitely very, very good. So apparently the other Goku was in slot 7, and I didn't even notice, so that's annoying. Um, Alright, so let's do this. Get a stack for you, and then we'll get some stacks for you guys as well. Bardock doesn't need to, uh, doesn't have any sort of permanent stacking, so him not getting to attack at the end here doesn't really matter too much. Get a hit on Carnival Goku to get him a buff. Hopefully he doesn't additional. I've noticed this a lot with runs and videos that I've done uh, since I got this Carnival Goku. Mine is two dupes and is built for full additional, and he additional supers uh, very regularly. So getting, letting the gods actually get a stack in here is good. Um, I wish I'd noticed that that other God Goku was in slot 7. I could have, I would have floated off the physical Goku on the first turn. Because uh, this rotation's not terrible, but we need to get... So it's my, my one is the one that hasn't attacked yet, so we need to let him attack first. And actually, the fact that there's what? Are they all group attacks? No, there's two group attacks in slot 1. That's actually really good for the STR Carnival Goku. Because um, now he's going to be able to get hit. Does this connect down the orange orbs? No, it doesn't. That's unfortunate. Fortunately, you only need the three orbs for God Goku for him to get that extra 30% dodge chance. So, hopefully we see him dodge a lot of these attacks here. Um, this is actually a very good turn for building up the STR Carnival Goku because he's going to get hit three times. Goku not dodging though. <laughs> 20k, okay, from a slot one pre-super. That's him at his worst, of course, right? Because this is my God Goku first rotation in slot one hasn't attacked yet so 7.4 mine is at 90 percent um he has all of his links at 10 except for i think it's one is at nine and one of his transformed ones is at nine um i would have used a key but i've been link leveling obviously both the new units together and uh, the tech vegeta has all of his links at nine except for one so i really want that last one it's it's at eight but i really want that last one to go up to nine and then I can just use one key and they'll both be finished. Whereas if I use one now, Vegeta's going to have one level 9 link left and I'm going to have to keep link leveling him anyway. And in that time that I continue link leveling that last link, like Godku's last link might have gone up. So it's kind of no point using a key until Vegeta's finished. But in terms of like doing this showcase and running like the difficult events, having one link at 9 as opposed to 10 isn't going to make a huge difference. 
so I'm not in like a major rush to essentially what I would consider pretty much like wasting a key just to get you know Goku to level 10 links for this video so um, all right so we've got one of the Goku's floated off um, I guess realistically I need to get one of you guys floated off as well probably the gods because we can just transform them as soon as they come back the next time anyway so we'll do this we'll get another stack for um, carnival Goku I'm gonna have to reset the uh, app after this run this game's going super slow for some reason but anyway we'll grab these um, obviously no one else is gonna get to attack after carnival Goku but he gets a couple of hits in here so not only is he getting his uh, attack build up but obviously he's getting another 18 key super so he's going to get another defense raise one thing that you really have to bear in mind with tech carnival goku as good as he is if you bring him into the cell max event and he doesn't get to super very many times and you get to the end um i feel like people can overestimate how well he tanks against like the tech cell max right he can take an absolute insane amount of damage um and unfortunately one thing we always kind of have to remember is that the uh there's no I can't get six orbs that's so unfortunate look how many physical orbs there are but unless I was to do something like this which you know I don't know where the super attack is going to be more often than not uh, cell max super attacks in slot one and if he does do that then I need Goku to be in slot one um, or god Goku um, to be in slot one so I'm gonna have to just go ahead and do that it's unfortunate we couldn't get 10 hits in with the carnival Goku I think he's been hit what like seven or eight times so we're very close but Let's see what we get here. So there's a dodge straight away. That's what we like to see. And then in come the attacks. No guaranteed additional because we didn't get the six orbs. So maybe we can get the hidden potential. I didn't actually check the friend's uh, build. Okay, so he tanks the normals for double digits. Oh, but we're, we're basically dead now, right? Because <laughs> unless Cell Max is just going to not super this turn, um, neither Carnival Goku nor the physical Bardock will survive a super from cell max on this turn so that is unfortunate i really needed the super attack to be in slot one maybe he won't super i don't know i think bardock is gonna eat the super here isn't he because he uh oh 100 and f oh he didn't super let's go all right <laughs> okay i guess we'll take that um and actually this is oh come on man these orbs bruh <laughs> Well, I guess we could transform, but this is we're going to really be putting the uh, Goku's 70% chance to dodge in slot 1 to the test. And then obviously after he's attacked, he then doesn't have the dodge. So, man, we changed like... So look how many physical orbs are on the field. And he is locked. I mean, I guess... I guess the smart way to do this is to actually use the Sensu Beam. And put God Goku in slot 3. Because Tech God Goku in slot 1 is obviously going to tank better. I mean, we can get the 3 orbs to get the dodge. And it just means we're not getting the guaranteed additional super. Which is not the end of the world. Uh, we know that he's going to tank normal attacks here for double digits anyway. So, and then yeah, look at all of these physical orbs. <laughs> Alright, so let's, we might as well just grab all of these with Carnival Goku then. And we can get those for you. Very unfortunate orb placement. Ooh, 189k if he doesn't dodge. So that's where the difference, like, is this God Goku, it should be pretty um, pretty obvious, right? That the dodging is where he's going to get the majority of his defense against these harder bosses. So we get the additional super as well. Um, so post super, we, had, we did have a lot of defensive support on that previous rotation as well, actually, where we took the double digit damage. And then he doesn't uh, super. Okay, well, we will die now. Um, unless, actually, no, even if he supers Tech God Goku, we absolutely will die. Um, very unfortunate with the orbs uh, on this run. Because, yeah, Carnival Goku can't eat this. Um, a little bit, honestly, a little bit disappointing. But when it comes to Cell Max, a lot of it comes down to RNG, right? So let me get back to the tech phase and see if we can have one more go at this. But let's see. Okay, so I've gone back to the Tech Cell Max phase, and of course, as is often the running meme, the luck with my Cell Max runs, the unit that I want to showcase is not on the first turn against Tech Cell Max, 
So we have to get through the first turn of the tech phase without getting killed. Fortunately, we have a good rotation here. Um, I was able to get six all to Margin Vegeta and put him on the final slot. So even if Cell does double super this turn, Margin Vegeta should survive at the end here. Um, I have changed up the team. Uh, we're running the Vegeta and Trunks team now because God Goku, of course, being a Goku, is on Bond of Parent and Child. And this God Goku is on Battle of Fate. So he gets the full 200% leader skill from Vegeta and Trunks. The thing that I was finding with... Uh, you guys obviously saw the first clip. I was running God Goku's team. The problem is, the team is... The units that you want to bring with him, to link with him, are very powerful. And so is he. So you get through the first couple of phases really, really quickly. Um, and the problem with that is that you don't get a lot of build-up with one or even both of the Gokus. Um, and then, of course, you know, you just kill those first two phases too quickly. If you're bringing units like um, the Tech Carnival Goku, there will often be turns where, you know, the God Goku's getting his double or even triple super turn. And so then you're killing the phase before units like the Tech Carnival Goku even get to attack. So it's kind of counterintuitive. So we'll see what we can do here. Obviously, with this Goku, um, the main takeaway, I think, against the Cell Max event is that if you dodge, you're all good. If you don't, not so much, right? So 32k in slot one. That's with no defensive support. So he's gotten a few stacks. Uh, one run that I tried with a Goku that unfortunately the rotations were pretty bad. By the time we got to the tech phase, he hadn't really supered that many times. He took 150k from normals in slot one without dodging. Now, obviously, the Cell Max event is somewhat of an anomaly, right? Like... You know, two very easy phases, and then you get to the last phase, and there are just very few units in the game that can even survive, like, being super attacked by him. So, it is a pretty crazy event, but God Goku is one of those units that you could stack him up for as long as possible, but against harder bosses, his main defensive, like, ability is going to be the dodge, right? So, if you get to Cell Max, you get supered, and you don't dodge, then you're dead. Kind of like that, so <laughs> unfortunately, again, with both the Vegetas and Trunkses, you need to get build up. Um, I guess for that turn, had I known the super attack was going to be in the middle, I could have put them in slot one, and uh, I just didn't want him to super in slot one and not to get a good run in the video. But honestly, after doing a couple of runs here, um, I God Goku, I think the takeaway is basically what I was saying, right? He's good in this event as long as he dodges. But otherwise, not so much. And the thing is, because of the, the fact that he is named God Goku, um, the tech God Goku is a better option. And I brought him on the team to be a floater, but he would actually just be a straight up better option for Cell Max because he doesn't need to dodge. He has that huge amount of damage reduction. If you pick up the two rainbow orbs, he's getting extra defense. Um, and then, of course, we didn't even get to a point where we could show it in the video. But if we use the active skill, we'll do some big damage with the crit. But then he loses a lot of his defensive capabilities because he loses that built-in dodge. He has the 70% if he's in slot one. But then after he's attacked or is in any of the other slots, um, he has almost no defense against Cell Max's super attack. So whilst this unit is very, very good, and don't get me wrong, I'm sure if you get the right rotations, you get good luck with the dodging and stuff like that, you could probably easily build a team with this God Goku and no item, the Cell Max stage. But given the limited time that I had to record today and the number of attempts that I've tried to get like a good showing for him, um, I think he's potentially, whilst he is one of the best TURs, I don't know if he's uh, like a top tier unit for Cell Max, unless you are literally just getting, you know, the good RNG and dodging every single attack. But some of the units that you want to run around him, like the gods, the LR gods to get the links, um, I had a run where I transformed them, picked up like four rainbow orbs, and they still didn't dodge the super attack and then obviously died. So sometimes it can be the team around him, but God Goku definitely can be useful in this phase, but. Like I say, with the tech one, he's directly sharing a name with a unit that I feel like is more useful. And even the Int LR God Goku, because he has his EZA on global, um, if his dodge fails... I mean, against the super, it kind of works the same way. If you don't dodge the super, you probably die. But you're going to be able to tank normals because of the type advantage and the way his defense can build up. So you guys let me know what you think. Have you tried out God Goku against Cell Max? 
Um, he definitely can be useful. And with that leader skill, you could make a team where you could get the mission done to have uh, four hybrid say it. Wait, is that for this or is this for the red zone cell max? I think it's red zone actually. But yeah, God Goku, pretty decent. Not sure if this is his best event. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Masked Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.